Hey guys, it's Jeff What I Download Blog. I'm going to talk about how to enable multitasking in Cydia. Yes, multitasking in Cydia. That way you can get rid of some of those load times when you're going back and forth between apps and you're going back and forth to Cydia. Now, while I've never had any problems doing this, uh, there are some reports that say that this causes you know some conflicts with Cydia and some you know screen flickers and things of that nature as you'll see in our post on IDB we had a post about this you know back in May I believe but personally I have never received or never experienced any problems enabling multitasking on Cydia so let me just show you how this works first of all I'm just gonna load up Cydia you see the loading screen here and more loading okay now let's just scroll down and find an app or a tweak here uh, there we go. Oh, more loading. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, more load. Okay, so home button in Safari. There it is. Now let's just close out of here. Let me show you what happens normally when you open up City again after you close out. Loading again. Now, granted, City is a lot better than it used to be because it does have the resume feature. As you can see here, I'm back on the home button in Safari page. So the resume feature is nice, but you still have to load up each time. So the question is, how do you make Cydia perform like a normal app with multitasking? Well, I'm gonna show you. First of all, let's close out of Cydia completely. And now let's open up iFile, which is right here. So open up iFile. And now you wanna make sure you're in this directory, the var stash applications and Cydia. Make sure you're in that folder there. And then scroll down until you see info plist. There it is. So you want to just go ahead and tap info plist. And now you should see property list viewer. Just tap that. And now you want to scroll all the way down in this list until you come upon the UI application setting there. So you want to make sure that is set to false, its own true or own. So you want to make sure it's set to off and then just hit done. And then you can close out of iFile. Next, I recommend that you just respring your iPhone, so we'll do that. All right, now we're back up. Let's go ahead and go back to Cydia now. And of course, you're going to have your initial load. That's no problem. So I'm going to load up here. It should take us back to the home button in Safari, thanks to the resume feature. All right, now let's close out of here. Now, let's try it out. Open Cydia. Bam. There's home button in Safari, folks. No loading necessary. You know, it's pretty awesome. That is true multitasking. So let's close out completely again and let's reopen. Bam, right back to the changes page. It's awesome. So that is true multitasking for Cydia, just like a normal app. So let's open up IDB now and I'm gonna just show you how we can switch between apps now. I'm loading up IDB and you can see here that I'm just scrolling around. Okay, so now I found a tweak I like. Let's go to Cydia and check it out. Let's just open the multitask switcher and there you go. Back to Cydia, no loading necessary, folks. So that is how you enable multitasking in Cydia, folks. Now that wasn't too bad, was it? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. This is Jeff with the iDownload blog.